And let's talk about the population boom that we've got going on around Tampa Bay. It's forcing housing and rental prices to increase. You well know that. You're watching the increase in the average price of rent from 2017 until now in six of the biggest counties in our area. Sarasota has always been the priciest. That's the top line there in purple, but you see Hillsborough and Manatee counties in teal and black quickly catching up. Yeah, that picking one. in the wrong direction for our pocket yeah, bucks. Makes your pockets hurt, right? Want to take a closer look at the numbers? Information from CoStar shows on average a one bed, one bath in Tampa right here, $1,600 a month. But I'm sure you've seen them a lot higher than this. Across the bridge in St. Pete, it's a bit more at about $2,000 a month. 10 Tampa Bay's Trelon Wynn spoke to an expert about what's driving up the price. From suburban homes to high-rise apartment buildings, there's a lot of different options for housing in Tampa Bay. The thing they all have in common, they're getting more expensive. Tampa is actually leading the nation in uh, rent growth right now. Jay Libick is the National Director of Multifamily Analytics for CoStar, the largest real estate data provider in the country. He says the reason this is happening is a combination of the hot housing market and people wanting to soak up Florida sunshine. The massive increase in net migration due to the pandemic has also just put a huge amount of pressure on, on housing in the, the Tampa Bay area. The pandemic has also caused a lot of shortages, which plays a role. Developers are having a difficult time getting projects completed due to supply chain issues. Uh, we're, we're seeing delays in permitting and approval. And as we know, when supply is short and demand is high for affordable housing, the prices will go up. And data says that price likely won't go down unless something major changes here in Tampa Bay. Once prices reach a certain point in the apartment market, it's very difficult to get them to come back down unless there's some type of uh, supply shock or uh, negative demand shock. That means rent prices are expected to continue to get more expensive unless developers are able to create a lot more affordable housing and fast.